Hey guys, Nathan here and welcome back to another video. Today's video is not sponsored by Ghost Energy Drinks, but I'd recommend trying them out. This is a Sour Patch Red. There's also a Swedish Fish Red and then a Warhead one that's really good. But today's video is a Bricklink, a small Bricklink order on eBay. I already started this video and had to redo it. And I found out after stopping the video that I miscounted again. So this was my Bricklink order. This was supposed to be the remaining parts for the Wampa Cave. Everything in here is right, except I miscounted again for the third time. I needed eight of these big posts. Initially, I only had one, so I wrote in the back of the instruction manual seven. Thinking I had seven, I only ordered one in a previous order, so that means I had two, and I needed eight, so I needed six more. I only ordered five, and I wrote five in the manual. I don't know why. I just checked my parts. I only have two of them. I am I am infuriated at myself that I can't count. So I'm going to have to make a Bricklink order for one, one of these, because I can't count. This I have the rest of the pieces right here. I have everything I need, unless I miscounted these, too. I'll have to go check. But I believe I need one of these... One by two by five blocked open studs or hollow studs in white. I miscounted again. So that is my Bricklink order. It's just some parts I was missing. There's a tooth in there. There's a Technic, uh, I don't know what that's called. Yeah, just some stuff that I needed that hopefully I didn't miscount this stuff too because I've made like seven different orders for this Wampa Cave and probably spent more money. I probably should have just bought one new or used and just thrown this one away, but whatever. I'm infuriated at myself that I don't know how to count. So then I have some stuff from eBay. One of these things, if it came, I'm, I'm going to have no explanation on why I bought it. I think I know what this one is, and this one's weird because people are probably like, Dude, city? Yes, I bought a city set. It's a street cleaner. Do I know why? Uh, yeah, I believe I owned this set at one point, and I get, got rid of it, and it was extremely cheap on eBay, and I had a conversation with someone. I have some fun conversations on eBay with people. Someone was selling this for, like, $26, and I asked them to sell it to me for, like, $13 because it was free shipping. And he's like, this was $4.50, and I'm not going to make anything, and after taxes, I'm going to make, like, a dollar. And I understand the principle behind eBay, and I'm probably coming across as a dick because it's just as simple as someone's just trying to make money. But I was like, this set came out like, yeah, this came out in 2008. This looks brand new. But like, you're worried about making profit on a $4.50 set you bought 14 years ago. And he wanted to sell it to me for like a dollar more than I wanted. So I said $10. He said 11 He said he wants to make $2 in profit instead of $1. You want to make an extra dollar of profit of something that's four dollars and fifty cents from what did i say 16 years ago no 14 math 14 years ago and he wants to make more than a dollar it's i probably come across as a an, as a jerk uh this one's packaged a little weird so bear with me trying to open this i don't know what this one is no oh, actually i'm gonna open it from the bottom it could be star wars some people also package stuff in way bigger boxes like the Millennium Falcon 7190, that box came, it was in a box like this big. It was a massive box and I assumed it was something else. I was like, there's no way this is my Falcon, but I didn't order anything. Oh, okay. This is actually a set that I saw at, I saw yesterday at, yesterday or two days ago at the little convention at my mall. So this is 75177. This is the first order Heavy Scout Walker. So this is another set. I think it was the same price at the convention, except I had to pay like $8 of shipping. So it's, I basically paid the same thing, but someone was just selling this and it was like, man, I wish I could grab that right now, but I like know it's getting shipped to my house. So I'm not gonna buy another one. Uh, so this comes with a resistance trooper, a first order gunner, general Hux and a flame or a first order flame trooper. I think this is my first time getting general Hux because I believe the other set he came in through the force awakens and uh, last Jedi was Actually, now I think it might be two. I think it might be like the start, of, the first order Star Destroyer, and then also the first order AT. No, it's Kylo Shuttle from the Force Awakens, I believe. That's a horrible black model. That's the wings are wrong and the coloring is wrong, or it's gray. 
I think it's gray. Yeah, it's gray. Because this one, where's the one I have? Yeah, it's black. It's supposed to be black. They put it in gray. The wings folded in the wrong way. I think he comes in that set, if I'm not mistaken. Or does he come in the first order at -AT? I don't know. First order Skywalker. Uh, another set that I did not have from Force Awakens, Last Jedi, Rise of Skywalker. Rise of Skywalker, I have all of them. Force Awakens, um... I don't have Kylo Shuttle, and I don't have the Millennium Falcon. Last Jedi, I'm still missing a couple, and they're expensive, so. And this last one, which is in a, again, I don't think I ordered anything this size, so I don't know what this is going to be. I have a feeling, I hope it's going to be one of the sets that I want to talk about, because everyone's going to be like, why did you buy it? And I'm going to have to come up with an explanation on the spot, because I don't know why I bought it. I'll have to look at the set again and see what it is because I've gone crazy on eBay lately and I know I need to calm down. Uh, yeah, this one is... I'm trying not to cut my hand. Yeah, I assumed it was... I think it is. Is it? So I can talk about... Oh no, it's not. Darn. Okay, I don't, I don't get to talk about why I bought this set. This one I've talked about before, why I'm buying these sets. Uh, it's packaged very well. You can probably see what it is. It's Chima. And this was a set that my girlfriend actually pointed out on her eBay. Because she looks at Lego sets on eBay too. She's really into uh, Minecraft and Star Wars. So she normally looks at Minecraft sets. But she knows I really want Chima. And someone was selling this. I normally don't try to talk about prices. Brand new for $22.00. Uh, plus like $9 shipping. So this is the Razor's Chi Raider uh, 70012. 4 to 12 pieces. You get Razor, Rizzo, and Ewar. Are they allowed to do that with Anthony Rizzo from the Yankees? Longtime Cub. We miss you. Um, as we're struggling and we're terrible and watching the Cubs right now is just an embarrassment. I think I owned this at one point. I can't remember. It's a really... It's kind of clunky and weird, like, with the coloring and the pieces. It kind of reminds me of the very first UCS X-Wing, where they just kind of had random colors in the bottom of it. The newer one kind of has that, too, but it's kind of a weird model. But it's another Chima set that I wanted to get. So that is... I think that's it. I have a bunch of peanuts that I can possibly eat or something. I don't know. Okay. So that is my uh, eBay haul and my Bricklink haul. So, unfortunately, I am going to have to make one order for one more of these, uh, I know they're not cave pieces, um, two by whatever wall pieces. I just want to be done with these. I still, I think I'm going to go up right now and work on the harbor, uh, the city harbor set. I want to try to go through all of my pieces right now and make sure I know exactly how many pieces I have. And I'm either tempted to try to find the parts on uh brick link or i'm just gonna sell it and say like 60 percent complete i mean it has the boats i'm gonna find the minifigures down here i know i have them uh with the amount of crap i threw away which disclaimer now after the fact please don't throw away any of your lego pieces like i did don't be an idiot and literally throw away 90 percent of your lego pieces because you think they're junk and garbage in my in my defense, the only pieces I needed a set for that I was missing was the City Harbor. I was down. Everything else I'm going to have complete through Bricklink orders and just finding parts in my collection. The small two battle packs I had to make some Bricklink orders for. The Star Wars ones, I found most of those parts in my collection. Um, <clears throat> the little city boat, I found most of those parts in my collection. So I probably only needed like 9 or 10 parts for each set. Um... And that's after the fact I dug through literally every piece before I threw stuff out. So I knew for a fact I did not have parts. But even in that case, if you're like 99 or you think you're even 100% positive, you don't have the parts you need, you probably do. I sorted my parts very messy. I'd put all gray pieces in one bin. And it got to a point where I literally had thousands of gray pieces in one bin. And it's like, there's no way you're going to sort through all that. You can throw it out on the table or the floor and try to get it all sorted. But it just takes way too much time. It is a time aspect. You think it's going to be quicker if you... Oh, I'll just throw all these old pieces away and buy them off BrickLink. But like like I proved, sometimes you just can't count. And for some reason, I couldn't count, and I keep messing up these quantities. 
I'll eventually get it right, but every single time I order more parts, I have to go through every single part and make sure I have it all because I don't want to have to order more and I don't want extra parts in there um, for when I build it again one day or if Star Wars, I'm probably never going to sell. Um, I think I was talking a little bit to uh, uh, Green Bay Brick Hero about how Star Wars is my... Also, not to interrupt myself, but... I told him, and I think I've said in my videos, I have almost 500 Star Wars sets out of the 800 and however many made. That is extremely inaccurate. Again, I just checked Brick set, and I have like 350. So, I'm not even at half. I'd like to get at half at some point, and I'd be able to add a couple here. I think I added the poly bag and the advent calendar and that last night. But I'm not even at half of Star Wars sets, and I kind of want to get to half before the end of 2022. I can't remember how many there are. There's 800 and... It was 808 at one point. I think it's up now to like 830 or 840 or something maybe. Because I think they added they added the names and the set numbers of the sets that are coming out this summer with the supposed names. But they're considered sets, but they're not out yet. So there's probably about 20 of them on there that aren't even released yet. But there's 800 and let's just say 20. So I want to get to 410 if my math is right since I'm so bad at math lately. I like to get to half of all Star Wars sets made. Uh, and like I was telling uh, Brick Hero, there's just some that I'm never going to own. Like, I'm accepting that now more than ever. Someone was like, well, what if you had a whole bunch of money like Elon Musk? I, I still wouldn't. I would not buy Cloud City new for $6,000. I would not buy Darth Maul's bus new for $2,500. I will not buy my White Whale, the Imperial Shuttle, for... Last night I saw it for $2,849.99. No. The UCS uh, Superstar Destroyer for $3,500. No. I, I don't care if I win the jackpot and I have $50 million or a billion or whatever dollars. I am not buying a Lego set for that much money. I refuse to. So unless there's a huge price drop or I'm incoherent and for some reason I think it's a good idea... I don't want to make a promise because I made promises before on this channel and then I break them. Like I remember when I first started my channel, I said I would never take down Jabo Sail Barge until they made a UCS one and then I took it down immediately, <laughs> like a couple months later. And then I bought a whole bunch of Monkey Kid sets and then I only built half of them. <laughs> so, and then I said I would never buy the AT-AT because I don't have anywhere to put it and even if I move out and have space to put it, I won't buy it because it's too much money and then I bought it. Everyone's probably like, well, you have the Millennium Falcon. To be fair, that was a gift from my mom for my birthday. I think all my family pitched in on that. Because the second it was revealed, my mom got an email about it on Lego. And she's like, oh my gosh, they made this huge Millennium Falcon. You would probably want that. And then she clicked out. She's like, $800? You're not going to get that. So I think all my family pitched in for that. So that's, that's a gift. And I will always remember that as a gift from my mom and my family. That is not something I paid for. I will never say I bought that with my own money because I didn't. I did not ship in a single cent to the UCS Millennium Falcon. All the other sets here, I think I probably bought. I mean, I probably got some of them as birthday or Christmas presents, but everything you see here is 99% something I bought. Um, again, that, I don't want this to turn into me sounding like I'm flexing. This is, this is because of me having a job and me working for it. I'm not saying I'm the hardest worker... I consider myself a pretty hard worker, and I think I did a lot of work at my first job. That got me enough money that I could buy these sets on a regular basis. I didn't do anything special. I was just living at home with my family, and now uh, buying Lego won't be as simple. You will not see me, even though I'm still doing it now, I'm going to have to settle into the idea that I can't buy Legos all the time anymore because I don't have... I'm going to have to be you know, <laughs> paying for my own stuff now. I know, I know that sounds bad, but... I was used to getting my package, package, getting my lunches packed and getting my bed made and getting the lawn cut and having food on the table and my family would pay for my gas. My girlfriend would pay for my gas. I have to get used to the idea that I'm paying for my stuff now. Uh, I'm just rambling at this point. I don't know. It's not important. <laughs> it's just I hopefully will get myself to calm down or I will get myself to a steady enough income where... I can pay my bills and still buy Lego and still have money left over. You know, pay for my bills, pay for my food, pay for my clothes. Make sure there's a roof over my head before I buy my hobby. My my health and my, my home and everything has to come first. So 
This will probably slow down. Um, I can't say when, but I don't know. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. I hope it will because I don't want to be sitting here and advocating buying... I, I don't know how much more stuff I... I probably have a stupid amount of stuff coming in, probably 10 or 15 more sets from eBay and Bricklink orders and crap. I don't advocate doing that. Please don't. If you have enough money in your bank account where you can pay for your stuff and then Lego on the side, that's good. But if you need your money in certain places, please don't focus it on a hobby that you can't afford. I noticed that when I was at Target the other day, there was a couple there and they were like, ooh, I want to get this Lego set. And it was only like a $30 set. To me, that's not a lot, but they were like, oh, I can't afford that. And they looked at another one, they're like, oh, I can't afford that. I wish I had enough money to buy that. And it kind of set in that people don't have what I have, and I really need to be fortunate for what I have, and I am very fortunate for everything I have here. Um, I'm fortunate for my family and my friends and everyone supporting me and helping me move along and get to a point where I can buy this stuff on my own. But some people aren't so fortunate. And there's people that are starving. Like, Legos is not a necessity. It's a hobby. I feel bad that people can't buy Legos, but I feel even worse that there's people that can't even, like, get food on their table and stuff like that. So count your blessings and know what you have. I don't want this to turn into a political speech or something, but I just start rambling at the end of my videos. I don't know why. Uh, but that's my uh, Bricklink haul where I messed up. Street cleaner. Chima. And first order walker. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Please hit the like button. Please consider subscribing. Comment down below. Have a great day.